For he commands you what is evil and shameful, and that ye should say of God that of which ye have no knowledge. When it is said to them, Follow what God hath revealed, they say, Nay, we shall follow the ways of our fathers, what, even though their fathers were void of wisdom and guidance. The parable of those who reject faith is as if one were to shout like a goat herd, to things that listen to nothing but calls and cries, deaf, dumb, and blind, they are void of wisdom. O ye who believe, eat of the good things that we have provided for you, and be grateful to God, if it is him ye worship. He hath only forbidden you dead meat, and blood, and the flesh of swine, and that on which any other name hath been invoked besides that of God. But if one is forced by necessity, without willful disobedience, nor transgressing due limits, then is he guiltless. For God is oft forgiving most merciful. Those who conceal God's revelations in the book, and purchase for them a miserable profit, they swallow into themselves naught but fire, God will not address them on the day of resurrection, nor purify them. Grievous will be their penalty. They are the ones who buy error in place of guidance and torment in place of forgiveness. Ah! What boldness they show for the fire! Their doom is because God sent down the book in truth but those who seek causes of dispute in the book Bible are in a schism far from the purpose. It is not righteousness that ye turn your faces towards east or west but it is righteousness to believe God and in the last day, and the angels, and the book, and the messengers to spend of your substance, out of love for him, for your kin, for orphans, for the needy, for the wayfarer, for those who ask, and for the ransom of slaves, to be steadfast in prayer, and practice regular charity, to fulfill the contracts which ye have made, and to be firm and patient, in pain or suffering and adversity, and throughout all periods of panic. Such are the people of truth, the God-fearing. O ye who believe! The law of equality is prescribed to you in cases of murder. The free for the free, the slave for the slave, the woman for the woman. But if any remission is made by the brother of the slain, then grant any reasonable demand, and compensate him with handsome gratitude. This is a concession and a mercy from your Lord. After this whoever exceeds the limits shall be in grave penalty. In the law of equality there is saving of life to you, O ye men of understanding, that ye may restrain yourselves. It is prescribed, when death approaches any of you, if he leave any goods, that he make a bequest to parents and next of kin, according to reasonable usage, this is due from the God-fearing. If anyone changes the bequest after hearing it, the guilt shall be on those who make the change. For God hears and knows all things. But if anyone fears partiality or wrongdoing on the part of the testator, and makes peace between the parties concerned, there is no wrong in him, for God is oft forgiving, most merciful. O ye who believe! Fasting is prescribed to you as it was prescribed to those before you, that ye may learn self-restraint, fasting for a fixed number of days, but if any of you is ill, or on a journey, the prescribed number should be made up from days later. For those who can do it with hardship, is a ransom, the feeding of one that is destitute. But he that will give more, of his own free will, it is better for him. And it is better for you that ye fast, if ye only knew. Ramadan is the month in which was sent down the Quran, as a guide to mankind, also clear signs for guidance and judgment between right and wrong. So every one of you who is present at his home during that month should spend it in fasting, but if any one is ill, or on a journey, the prescribed period should be made up by days later. God intends every facility for you, he does not want to put you to difficulties. He wants you to complete the prescribed period, and to glorify him in that he has guided you, and perhaps ye shall be grateful. When my servants ask thee concerning me, I am indeed close to them. I listen to the prayer of every supplicant when he calleth on me, let them also, with a will, listen to my call, and believe me, that they may walk in the right way.
permitted to you, on the night of the fasts, is the approach to your wives. They are your garments and ye are their garments. God knoweth what ye used to do secretly among yourselves but he turned to you and forgave you, so now associate with them, and seek what God hath ordained for you, and eat and drink, until the white thread of dawn appears to you distinct from its black thread, then complete your fast till the night appears, but do not associate with your wives while ye are in retreat for prayer. Those are limits set by God. Approach not nigh thereto. Thus doth God make clear his signs to men, that they may learn self-restraint. And do not eat up your property among yourselves for vanities, nor use it as bait for the judges, with intent that ye may eat up wrongfully and knowingly a little of other people's property. They ask thee concerning the new moons. Say, they are but signs to mark fixed periods of time in the affairs of men, and for pilgrimage. It is no virtue if ye enter your houses from the back, it is virtue if ye fear God. Enter houses through the proper doors, and fear God, that ye may prosper. Fight in the cause of God those who fight you, but do not transgress limits, for God loveth not transgressors. And slay them wherever ye catch them, and turn them out from where they have turned you out, for tumult and oppression are worse than slaughter, but fight them not at the holy temple, unless they first fight you there, but if they fight you, slay them. Such is the reward of those who suppress faith. But if they cease, God is oft forgiving, most merciful. And fight them on until there is no more tumult or oppression, and there prevail justice and faith in God, but if they cease, let there be no hostility except to those who practice oppression. The prohibited month for the prohibited month, and so for all things prohibited, there is the law of equality. If then any one transgresses the prohibition against you, transgress ye likewise against him. But fear God, and know that God is with those who restrain themselves. And spend of your substance in the cause of God, and make not your own hands contribute to your destruction, but do good, for God loveth those who do good. And complete the pilgrimage or pilgrimage in the service of God. But if ye are prevented from completing it, send an offering for sacrifice, such as ye may find, and do not shave your heads until the offering reaches the place of sacrifice. And if any of you is ill, or has an ailment in his scalp, necessitating shaving, he should in compensation either fast, or feed the poor, or offer sacrifice, and when ye are in peaceful conditions again, if any one wishes to continue the pilgrimage unto the pilgrimage, he must make an offering, such as he can afford, but if he cannot afford it, he should fast three days during the pilgrimage and seven days on his return, making ten days in all. This is for those whose household is not in the precincts of the holy temple. And fear God, and know that God is strict in punishment. For the pilgrimage are the months well known. If any one undertakes that duty therein, let there be no obscenity, nor wickedness, nor wrangling in the pilgrimage. And whatever good ye do, be sure, God knoweth it and take a provision with you for the journey, but the best of provisions is right conduct. So fear me, O ye that are wise. It is no crime in you if ye seek of the bounty of your Lord during pilgrimage. Then when ye pour down from Mount Arafat, celebrate the praises of God at the holy place, and celebrate his praises as he has directed you, even though, before this, ye went astray. Then pass on at a quick pace from the place whence it is usual for the multitude so to do, and ask for God's forgiveness. For God is oft forgiving, most merciful. So when ye have accomplished your holy rites, celebrate the praises of God, as ye used to celebrate the praises of your fathers, yea, with far more heart and soul. There are men who say, Our Lord, give us thy bounties in this world but they will have no portion in the hereafter. And there are men who say, Our Lord, give us good in this world and good in the hereafter, and defend us from the torment of the fire. To these will be allotted what they have earned, and God is quick in account. Celebrate the praises of God during the appointed days.
But if any one hastens to leave in two days, there is no blame on him, and if any one stays on, there is no blame on him, if his aim is to do right. Then fear God, and know that ye will surely be gathered unto him. There is the type of man whose speech about this world's life may dazzle thee, and he calls God to witness about what is in his heart, yet is he the most contentious of enemies. When he turns his back, his aim everywhere is to spread mischief through the earth and destroy crops and cattle. But God loveth not mischief. When it is said to him, Fear God, he is led by arrogance to more crime. Enough for him is hell, an evil bed indeed, to lie on. And there is the type of man who gives his life to earn the pleasure of God, and God is full of kindness to his devotees. O oh, ye who believe! Enter into doing God's will wholeheartedly, and follow not the footsteps of the evil one, for he is to you an avowed enemy. If ye backslide cross reference, Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 11 to 12. And the IAM said unto me, The backsliding Israel hath justified herself more than treacherous Judah, Judah. Go and proclaim these words toward the north, and say, Return, thou backsliding Israel, set the I am, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, set the I am, and I will not keep anger forever. End of cross reference. After the clear signs have come to you, then know that God is exalted in power, wise. Will they wait until God comes to them in canopies of clouds, with angels in his train, and the question is thus settled? But to God do all questions go back for decision. Ask the children of Israel how many clear signs. We have sent them. But if any one, after God's favor has come to him, substitutes something else, God is strict in punishment. The life of this world is alluring to those who reject faith, and they scoff at those who believe. But the righteous will be above them on the day of resurrection, for God bestows his abundance without measure on whom he will. Mankind was one single nation, and God sent messengers with glad tidings and warnings, and with them he sent the book Torah in truth, to judge between people in matters wherein they differed. But the people of the book, after the clear signs came to them, did not differ among themselves, except through selfish contumacy. God by his grace guided the believers to the truth, concerning that wherein they differed. For God guides whom he will to the way that is straight. 